This dog presented a, a history of pancreatitis, which is just an inflammation of the pancreas. And uh, he's had a, kind of an acute deterioration. We had treated him a couple of weeks ago. He's making steadily improvements and then uh, acutely, uh, acutely went downhill after that. Um, has a high fever, um, some increased respiratory rate and effort. Uh, we're worried because he's been had an acute onset of vomiting, we're a little bit worried about uh, secondary pneumonia um, on top of the pancreatitis, which seems to be flaring up. Try and get to the bottom of it and make sure that, uh, that we uh, get him better hydrated, uh, relieve any discomfort that, that he may be, uh, may be having, um, and, uh, and seeing if seeing if there's anything else specific that we can do to treat the problem. Our students, um, they're in veterinary school for four years. And during that four-year period, they spend two and a half years in the classroom getting the didactic book knowledge stuff. And then the last year and a half is spent the clinical portion. It was in a boarding kennel um, when this happened. Every three weeks, the students are required to switch rotations. And a rotation is a, is a clinical experience, basically. So they might spend three weeks on ophthalmology, then another three weeks on anesthesia, then three weeks on cardiology, then three weeks in emergency critical care. The nice thing about emergency is it involves all aspects of veterinary medicine. So um, you really get to learn a lot and it's really hands-on. It's a really good rotation with broad spectrum of, of knowledge that you have to put into it. I think uh, the, uh, the students sometimes come in nervous to the emergency and critical care rotation. We tend to be a pretty, uh, pretty time intensive service, but our goal for that time is to, to give them uh, very much a real world experience, uh, get, them, get them dirty, get their hands, uh, hands on the patients, uh, and, uh, and doing a lot of procedures. It is definitely more stressful dealing with those patients that you have to figure out what's going on within a matter of seconds and react within a matter of seconds, but um, there's so many people around to help and things like that that you don't, there's no need to feel too pressured. We tend to be a pretty busy service, so they see a lot of patients, um, and that, uh, I think that helps them build uh, you know, experience, obviously, confidence, um, and the ability to work efficiently, which uh, veterinarians out in the real world um, uh, have to do. People have started to recognize the, the need for um, students to be educated in both emergency and critical care medicine and so uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been a growing specialty. Um, right now uh, there's been so much interest in it Michigan State at our student level that we have more students that have left Michigan State and are currently in resident training programs in emergency and critical care than any other school in the country.